Today we have a carpet cleaning, and this is for a move-in. This is pretty new carpet, but one thing typical with homes in Florida lately that I've noticed more often than not, I'm seeing less and less carpet in Florida. I know that people up north have a lot of carpeting, but we just don't have as much carpeting as you can see. Just this one room right here of carpeting. It's just not very prevalent anymore. A lot of carpeting has to be replaced consistently, especially in these high humid areas. We are probably one of the most humid places in the United States. It takes a very long time for carpet to dry. Set just wasn't around for the most part until more recently. Carpet is kind of dying breed here. I've done multiple estimates. What I see is a lot more LVP, a lot more vinyl sheet flooring, a lot more laminate flooring. That's the beautiful, th beautiful thing about set is if you're a small, clean business and you want to get into flooring and carpet, set is a great way to go. Get your little buffer, little Orbo set machine, large Orbo set machine, and more importantly, a Roto set machine. But stay tuned. People are going to ask me. What to use to clean the laminate flooring and the carpet. And I'm going to tell them Vital Oxide. It's an all purpose cleaner, disinfectant, and deodorizer. I'm going to use this at eight ounces per gallon. This is a little bit on the expensive side to use for cleaning, but we try to go the extra mile, bring the very best into our arsenal. I really like this product. I use this product a lot. I do use it for hard floors, hard surfaces, upholstery, carpet, most types of fabrics, most types of rugs. So this is a very potent formula, but safe on almost any fabric and any hard surface. And it's zero on the health rating. Neutral product, by the way. This is a rinse-free product. You could put this on cutting boards and let it sit and let it soak into your cutting board and just wipe. You don't even have to rinse it. We just performed the dry, insoluble soil extraction process. And that's very important because 75% of the soil that's going to be in your carpet is going to be the dry and soluble particulate soil. That's 75%. So the rest of the soil is going to be the water and soluble soil. We try to remove that with the set process, soil extraction transfer technology. Now granted, we can't remove all the dry and particulate soil, and we can't remove all the water soluble soil. No method can claim that. I've seen a lot of truck mount operators claim that, but you can't claim that. That's false advertisement, and we have to do our due diligence and be honest with the client that we could make the carpets cleaner and possibly make them safer and for sure improve the appearance. But we cannot claim disinfection. Disinfection is a big no-no because you're claiming eliminating the viruses in your carpet. And we cannot claim that. Nobody can claim that on carpet. So if you hear that, don't call those guys because that's fraudulent. We know better here. So soil extraction transfer technology is the way to go. And here we're using two-way pad. And it's pretty white, you can see. And this carpet, it's very clean looking.
So in just a moment, I'm gonna need to use both hands. So we just pad cleaned and extracted and transferred the water soluble soil from this carpet onto the pad. And again, we're not claiming that we're removing 100% of the water soluble soil. No method can, but we're going to make it cleaner, better. And one thing for sure, you're not going to have moldy carpets. Despite it being raining outside and over 90 degrees, these carpets are going to be dry in less than an hour. ULM, ultra low, low moisture approach of the set method, soil extraction transfer technology. Very good method, very underrated method. The results speak for themselves. So you watch this channel, you see time and time again, we perform great work, great results. And that's what matters. And after the post vac, we're all done. Carpets came out great, clean and dry, smell great, look great, and customers happy.